Good morning, everyone, and happy Thursday. It is Julie here with your Tip Ranks pre-market update, where we're bringing you everything you need to know before the market opens. So let's get into it. All right, guys, welcome back, and thank you all so much for being here. I apologize about my temporary setup here. I am on the road and having every technical problem you can imagine, namely my tripod and lighting completely breaking, so I apologize for the setup. I promise it is very temporary. Uh, this morning, we'll be taking a look at exciting stock market news. Not many notable earnings reports once again, so we'll take a look at the morning's biggest gainers and losers. Just before we get into all of that, this is your friendly reminder that TipRanks is giving 22% off their premium subscriptions to celebrate the upcoming new year. So head over to tipranks.com to unlock some fantastic research tools. Okay, let's get right into this morning's exciting stock market news. U.S. stock futures are in the green this morning. Currently, Dow futures are up 0.14 percent, S&P 500 futures up 0.17 percent, and Nasdaq futures up 0.24 percent. Tesla has received an order worth $12.4 million from New York's DCAS to purchase 250 units of their Model 3 vehicle. The department plans to purchase the EVs over the next five years. The New York Police Department is likely to pay $49,000 for each EV, compared to $35,000 to $58,000 for normal squad cars and SUVs. They said that the DCAS ensures that products and services purchased to support the city's long-term strategic and environmental goals at the lowest cost and meeting the highest professional standards. The Tesla stock is currently rated a moderate buy with an average downside of 6.4%. Several other New York City departments have ordered 184 Mustang Mach-E SUVs from Ford Motor. This is part of the city's fleet electrification push, and several of the city's agencies, including the Department of Parks and Rec, Sheriff's Office, and New York Police Department will use the all-electric SUVs. Ford is expected to deliver the vehicles by June 30th this year. Their stock is currently rated a moderate buy, with an average downside of 5%, with many price targets already being surpassed. Autonomous driving technology company Two Simple Holdings has successfully completed a test run of a fully autonomous semi-truck on public roads without human intervention. The run, which took place on December 22nd, is the first in the world. The vehicle started from a rail yard in Tucson, Arizona, and traveled over 80 miles on surface streets as well as on highways at night before arriving at a distribution center in the Phoenix metro area. The Two Simple used a Class 8 autonomous truck for the drive that took an hour and 20 minutes. The run forms a part of an ongoing test program that the company plans to continue next year. Their stock is currently rated a strong buy with an average upside of 75%. Shares of social media giant Meta Platforms, formerly known as Facebook, were down yesterday after the news that they tried to divide lawmakers' opinions on implementing stronger rules on social media companies. In an article from the Wall Street Journal, it described how the company used its platform to influence the bipartisan decisions on bringing stricter norms for social media platforms. According to the article, Meta tried to break any alliance between the two parties regarding stricter implementation of norms for social media platforms. Their stock is currently rated a strong buy with an average upside of 18.5%. And Apple has put a southern Indian factory on probation after it was discovered that their dormitories and dining rooms were not up to standards. The decision to put the facility on probation follows protests after more than 250 women at the Foxconn assembly plant became ill with food poisoning. More than 150 were hospitalized. Apple has already dispatched independent auditors to assess the conditions of the facility and dormitories and in, in preliminary findings said that they do not meet requirements. The Apple stock is currently rated a strong buy but with a slight downside of over 2%. Now as I mentioned before there is still not much happening in the way of earning reports, so let's move right over to the morning's biggest gainers and losers. Our biggest gainers this morning are led by Arinia Pharmaceuticals. Under the ticker AUPH, their stock is currently up 8.5%. They're followed by Babylon under the ticker BBLN, their stock is currently up 7%. And One Life Healthcare under the ticker ONEM, they're currently up 6%. Our biggest losers this morning are currently led by the Vector Group. Under the ticker VGR, their stock is currently down nearly 26%. They're followed by Biogen under the ticker BIIB, down 6.5%. 
and Ulta Beauty under the ticker ULTA, currently down 4.5%. So that is going to be everything for Thursday's pre-market morning update, getting you up to speed with what you need to know before that opening bell. Once again, I apologize for my technical difficulties this morning. I hope to have it back on track here soon for you. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have a fantastic day and I'll see you back here next time.